men's persons in admiration because of an advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Yahweh Shai, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual having not the spirit. Sensual, sensual meaning sensitive. sensitive yeah you know because some of you man we're just gonna be straight up with you man some of you guys are just straight up fucking bitches man you know you had the other the big ass dude the big scribe you know oh him him he was another emotional bitch man you know i mean the, the fucking guy had a problem with every goddamn body in the camp man you know you guys man just be a goddamn man man you know, not saying you, you're not going to get emotional sometimes, but these fucking guys, that every goddamn week they come around, they got they, they, they on their fucking I menstrual. Them, uh, Israelite crybabies. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, and another one. Like, yeah, well, hey, being that you said basketball Jones, well, he was just a straight nigga. But every week he wanted to bring somebody to council, man. He was another emotional guy. Every week he was bringing elders, I'm going to bring somebody to council. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? That's why Elder Tahar said GMS... Y'all talk about we get on, we get on GMS harder than any. A lot, there's a lot of niggas in GMS still That's right. that the Lord is going to rake out, man. Okay, how about Shemi Hawashai? Going to rake out a lot of you guys in GMS throughout all the states. He's going to come with a with a, with a, a broom. broom uh, with a broom, and he's going to yeah. sweep you guys out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And praise the Most High, Yahweh about Shemi for that, because I don't like being around niggas, man. Yeah. Right here in the main camp. Elder, we've been putting these tests out, and like a handful of guys made they made their exodus out of here, man. And God, God riddance, man. Good riddance, man. Yeah. Goddamn niggas, man. So that prove what Elder Tahar been saying, man. There's a lot of niggas. I'm talking about going back for the past couple of years. There's a lot of niggas in GMS. There's a lot of niggas in GMS, and then sure enough, it's coming to pass, man. There was niggas at the Passover that we had. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know. God. Right. Yeah, um, the word sensual is the is the Greek word. Strong's G fifty five ninety one, psuchikas, psuchikas. Uh, getting right to the point, it says the principle of animal life which men have in common with the brutes. Mm. Now I, I know the word brute means a a big dummy, an idiot. Oh, you know, okay. a brute. Yeah, yeah Baloo, yeah, he's a brute. You know, then it says the sensuous nature, which is subject to appetite and passion, which basically sensual, like that's the quality of a woman. All right. Sensual. You know, a man that's sensual is a, is a homosexual, man. He's a faggot. He's a he's a pussy. <laughs> Blue. That's Blue, man. And I already know, man. And then, you know, what, 14th Street, man. You all messed up, man, because now we just said, Baloo, I know my man, uh, what's the y'all, Yakanan? He gonna go all the way with it, man. I, I can already see it. You gonna have videos with Baloo with a turban on. <laughs> yeah? Super, yeah with, with some house music. With some house, that oh. turban you be wearing. Yeah, man. Yeah, Baloo, what, what's up with that? You do your videos, you don't play no house music anymore. Because you were affected by that. Why not? You know? You were affected by that. You're a faggot, man. You're a big black faggot. All right? I say it to your face, nigga. You're a big black faggot. All right? That's what you are. You do mark my words. You're a big black faggot. Let that burn in your brain. Yeah, how about Shim Yahweh Shah is going to deal with you? Because when Mike, I heard the video, the brother showed me the video. You know, you sounded just like Oprah Winfrey, man. You had an Oprah Winfrey gossiping black woman spirit on you. He was just. That's, I'm sorry, brother. You, that's you, 14th Street homo. You're the Oprah Winfrey of Israel. Who are you going to bring on next on your on your raggedy little uh, website, man? Who are you going to bring on next to to, to uh, 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 peddle his gossip or her gossip? So you can't get the women because we're not into bringing women around us. So you can't get no woman to come on your little website and gossip. But you'll get some some a guy who's close to a woman, a faggot, to gossip on your on your on your uh, website. Yeah, and this is why this scripture, that's I'm going to read this scripture right here. This is uh, Second John, the, uh, it's one chapter long, uh, this 10 and 11 verse. It says, if there come any, any unto you and bring not this doctrine, 
receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. Oh, now, 11 verse. For he that biddeth him God speed, the most high speed, is partaker of his evil deeds. So if you know a dude is wicked as hell, man, don't even let the nigga come in your house, man. Yep. This, had we know that you was a wicked ass nigga, nobody we would command. Look, don't let this nigga up in your house, man. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And 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 I don't got to go into the book of Jude. Yeah. Yeah. Where it sp spake about many have crept in unawares, man. Con. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah nine and four. It says, "Take ye heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother, for every brother, yeah, not every guy that says he's a brother is a brother." You know, a guy that you got to uh, avoid is a, a so-called brother that acts like a woman. Yeah, you that be like, letting motherfuckers in your house. Yeah. And they're lowlifes, man. Yeah, lowlifes. You open your door as a brother uh, to let this man in your house, and now they're going to wait and they're going to talk shit about your ass, man. Kind. Yeah. And, and like I said, in Jeremiah, the scriptures say, uh, uh, beware of a brother, for he shall utterly supplant, man. Yeah. You, you a wicked-ass nigga, man. Yeah, that's what I'm And then you yep. went to one of the most wickedest niggas that you can go to, man. That's right. Baloo. Yeah. But that's all right, Baloo. The scriptures say the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. So enjoy your moment, man. You think you're doing something. You think you're you making a dent in GMS. Enjoy your, your moment. The Lord going to deal with you. I'm telling you, the Lord is going to deal with you. Uh, Jeremiah 9 and 4, it says, Take ye heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. Like I said, not every brother is a brother, all right? Especially a guy that acts like a woman in drag, all right? You got to avoid guys like that. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. And that's what that guy is doing on, on, on that new, on that uh, that so-called lesson that Baloo put on his channel. All that guy is doing is slandering, all right? That's all slander. And you weak-minded fools, you're going to eat that up like candy. You're going to listen to that website and you're going to say, yeah, see, that proves GMS is finished. Yeah, see, guys are leaving. But what do we always say, beginning with Elder Tar. Elder Tar always say there's niggas in GMS. Yep. Also, we always say that the elect of the Most High is a small number. Right. It says a small sanctuary. We're not looking to save the world like Michael Jackson, all right? right. We're looking for the elect, which is a small number. Can I please read this real quick? Yeah, right, this, this is a... Please Ecclesiasticus 11 and 29 Bring not every man into thine house For the deceitful man hath many trains Receive a stranger into thy house And he will disturb thee And turn thee out of thine own Yeah, Well, I, well this guy got mad Because brothers was bringing women up in there And they're going to send the brother a text I don't appreciate you Like it was his damn house Like the brother didn't have a right to do what he wanted to do and one of the main reasons he was getting mad because his punk ass couldn't get a woman. Yeah, bro. You look at that brother. You look at that guy. That guy was a pussy, man. No woman. First of all, a woman would look at him and say, "This guy is like a. He's like a. He's he's a, like a faggot, man." You know. And I told them brothers, them young brothers, man. I said, if you if you ain't got a place, I said, you go out there and find you a woman. You know, you get ni you know yeah. you nice with the woman. You That's take her right. to the movies. Right. Take her to Wendy's or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Take it in the Chinese restaurant, <laughs> and um, you know you can even show us some scriptures and what give a Hebrew name. You know you gotta play that. You gotta play that. Oh man, you gotta play that game. Take it to the movies. Do this. Do that. Then all of a sudden you stay the night over at house. You know you stay another night. You know she got a nice little night, nice little spread, a pad. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Who's that in your pot? Is that someone in your pot? Is that man in your flat? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Hey, um, and then you know, you, you know, you you know, you get you get you get comfortable, and then what you do is the little money that you got, you offer to pay her cell phone bill, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, fifty dollars. You oh, baby, I got it. You know, and when 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 the uh, when the when the cable bill come in, you know, that's like a hundred and fifty and up. If you want all the channels, you know, yeah, you right. said, "Baby, don't worry, I got that." You know, you pay, you pay the cable bill, you you pay the, uh, you pay the, uh, the phone bill. You know, you bring food. You know, you know that there's food that need to be in the house when you on your on your way home. You go to the supermarket. Yeah, you get you get the toilet paper. You get the the water. You know, you get you get the you get all that stuff that that the, the essential for the house. You know, you might buy a, a bottle of uh, 
a detergent and all that. You get all those things. And then basically when she thinks about kicking you out, she said, if I kick this dude out, then I got to go back to paying the phone, the cell phone bill, the cable bill. I got to go to the grocery store. You know, I got to do all that. So she's going to think twice about that, man. That's right. You you see? And so you don't got to pay all that money and pay the rent. Let her ass pay the rent. That's right. You pay for damn near everything else, man. And she, like I said, she's going to think twice about kicking your ass out, man. That's right. You know? Hey, I got a... Uh, did you finish yeah, yeah, yeah. 